Alright guys, so another day, another video, we have a new update for the mobile app on Tesla. If you guys are interested, you guys can auto heat your heat seaters. Now this is ultra convenient when you're inside of the house and you don't want to launch up your app and auto is just a feature that's on. As soon as you turn on your climate control, auto is set to work exactly as it should, like pretty much every other car that has the auto feature. It knows when to turn it on and knows when to turn it off. Alright, so if you guys go into the app store, this is iOS and Android, they're all out at the exact same time. If you update your app to 4.7, you will see an auto feature at the bottom of your bacon strips. And the bacon strips are just just still there, there's no adjustments to them. It's just a little auto button right at the bottom there. One thing I do wish is that they add the auto button to the heated steering wheel as well because as of right now, you have to toggle through so many menus to access it. All right, so you guys probably have heard that version 11 pretty much screwed everything up. You know that the menus are hidden inside. Even though it looks a little bit nicer, just like the Model S, there is so many things you have to tap just to get to the bacon strips and that's where it gets quite annoying. I experience this pretty much all the time. And finally, they did add the auto feature uh, when it was requested just like the Model S. And that kind of activated in a way where it kind of guesses if it's too hot or too cold depending on the temperature outside. So yeah, this video is quite short. I don't really have too much to say. It's just literally an auto button on there. So uh, one thing I do have to mention while we're on the topic of the heated seats is the heated steering wheel. So honestly guys, it really kind of sucks compared to a lot of my cars that do have the heated steering wheel. I feel like it sort of turns on and off on and off again. It doesn't keep a consistent warm, uh, let's say low, medium or high temperature. If I want it low, uh, it kind of just maxes out how hot it is and then it turns it off completely and then it turns it back on. I don't know, it's probably just my car, um, maybe not. Let me know in the comments below if you guys are experiencing the same things with your heated seats and your heated steering wheel. Uh, maybe I don't notice it as much in the heated seats just because it's on my butt and like it can pulsate as much as it wants and it doesn't really make a big difference because um, I'm already creating enough heat at the bottom there anyways. But the steering wheel, I definitely feel it just because I'm grasping onto it uh, pretty much all the time and it's just bare contact with my hands so that's probably the reason why I feel it a lot more but uh, it bugs me so much and I feel like Tesla can make a lot of adjustments with this hopefully they can just leave it at a low temperature just like every single heater out there. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's enough for my rant for this video. It's not the topic of today, which is uh, the mobile app update. So uh, go ahead and update if you guys haven't already. It doesn't really hurt in any way. It just adds a new feature uh, that you guys don't already have. So this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you guys know what to do. This is John once again. Peace out.